Welcome to Vancouver Island Regional Libraries Filmora Training. Episode 6. Adding Titles, Adding Elements. We are so close to being finished with our project. As you can see from our last video on audio, we've adjusted the audio in our clips as well as in our music line to make sure that our audio is nice and loud and pretty even and that our music doesn't overpower our audio in our video. The last thing that we're going to do is add in some titles to identify the craft, our presenter, instructions, some other things, and we're also going to discover elements in this video. So if we come on over here to titles, we've got lots of different options here. Now we also can see you know, if we wanted to use openers, titles, something in lower thirds, that also helps us to determine what we want to use. So there's two different types of titles. So there's one here that has like a video overlay. So if you had that, the black background indicates that it's going to go over top of your video. But if you have something like this with color, that's going to be a standalone item. So because our video opener closes on a white background, as you can kind of see over here, once we have that play. I'd like a title card that also has a white background to match it. So I'm going to come on over here. A lot of these are all video. What about in openers? Yep, so we've got some, some white ones here, something like this, or maybe something like this with a little bit more color. I think that's a little bit much just because of what we've got going on already. But that's nice and simple. So I'm going to bring this title card into my timeline. And as you can see, it goes on a completely separate line above everything that we're using. So by double clicking it, I can come on in here and change just about everything. I can change what the text is going to be, uh, if it's going to be different style, color. I can choose the font. I can choose the size of it. Uh, so if I wanted to put in here, I'm going to highlight that and put in winter time switch spread. So that's a little bit big, so I can maybe modify that so it's a little bit smaller and kind of move that around. And in this title, I can move this piece of text as well as this piece of text. And if I really wanted to, even this little black bar, I could move that around the space. So that's totally up to you about whether or not you want to change it. So I kind of like what that looks like. Um, but if you wanted to see different options, it could look something. To double click, and you can see it looks like that. Maybe we want to do something a little bit more like that. Totally up to you. But I kind of like something that and then I'm going to have this say with Rochelle and then I'm going to move that little piece over so that is my little identifier there. All right so if we wanted to so I'm going to press OK and if you want to see what that looks like. These are all things we're going to need for our wintertime soup and as you can see, it's actually playing over top of my first clip. So what I'm going to have to do to make up for that is come over here until I see the double lined arrow bar on that first clip. And I'm going to increase how long that was and then move my title over to the beginning of that clip so that I can try and cue that up so that my title card ends just before I actually jump into what I'm talking about. These are all the things we're going to need. Still a little short. So let's try that. These are all the things we're going to need. And that's not bad, but we can always edit that a little bit later. The other thing, if you really didn't like how that was looking, is you can come over here to animation. 
and you can change how it would all appear. But like with transitions, simpler is usually a little bit better. For now, I like the title card as it is, and we'll go ahead and be changing things around a little bit later. I'm gonna press OK for now. So if I don't like this title card, or I want to have a different title card that indicates the presenter rather than having this with the shell here, I can also choose a title card to identify. So usually something like this, the lower third is a good option. So let's take a look at our video. Maybe we'll choose something like this to see what it looks like. Our measuring cups. And that gets a little bit lost because of all the things that I have there. So I'm gonna choose something different. I really liked over here in the new concept lower thirds, there's these t uh, options that have some color. So maybe something like this, or perhaps that would really work because it matches some of the color and some of the energy from our, the, our video opener. All right, for now, we'll leave it as it is. But if you wanted to, just so we demonstrate, you also have the option of changing all the text and the animation just as we did with our title card. We'll delete that for now. The other thing that I really want to use is something to identify the pieces of what's included in my craft. So something that would work really well is an end credit. It could be something like this or perhaps something like that. And that I would overlay into my video. And then I'd move around the pieces of the end card to fit where I want it to go in my video and so that it shows things appropriately. So if I had something like that, so we'll see, I'll bring that in here. And double click it so we can see we can move that around the space like this. And maybe move this up here. So we've got a list of kind of going down like this. And then we change the text and do everything like that so that we have a list of our craft. And then if we needed more space, you know, this would only have to run for a short time. And then we can fill it in with something. And that brings us to shortening and expanding how long your title actually appears on the screen. So we're gonna come on over here and select the title. I'm just gonna press okay for now because we don't need those options. And either on the end, the beginning, until you, when you see those double lined arrows, you can move that along for as long as you want. So if we were to play it, it's going to appear on screen. Spatula for that long. So we could make that as long or as short as we need to. Really, really easy. So for now, we'll go ahead and delete that so that we can add everything that we want later. The other thing that I wanted to show was elements. You'd use these to add emphasis to a part of your video. So we're gonna come on over here uh, so, for example, you could highlight a feature with something like this, nice and shiny. Here we go. Maybe this is new, something important to pay attention to. Uh, we have something like here in tutorial. It could be pay attention to this. This is really important. There are also fun ones like hearts that twinkle. Um, pets if you wanted to. Something kind of like that. And what we just did there is downloaded that locally so that we could actually view it. Anything with a downward arrow that's underlined, you have to download it locally to your computer before you're able to use it. But it's really simple to do. That's what it would look like. And then again, like we had with our elements, once it's over here in the timeline, we, let me double click it, we have options for video, color, and motion. 
And just like with our other ones, we can also lengthen it for as long as we want to here. And we can also change the size of it and where we want it to go. So if we were to play that, fairly large bowl. that's what it will look like. We'll go ahead and delete that for now. When we feel happy with the video layout, where all of our titles are and everything, how it looks, run through the whole video without stopping to make sure you like the look and feel, the audio, and that you like the story that's being told here. You might need to do this a few times to make sure that it looks nice and polished and it's up to your standards. The last thing that we need to do, which we'll cover in our next video, is exporting the project.